guys today uh, for Friday's video is going to just be a quick kind of vlogish update on uh, what I'm doing right now, what my uh, short-term, long-term goals are. Uh, so for me, just waiting to hear back from um, uh, one of the companies I interviewed at. Um, so that's exciting. Hopefully I can get that job. Really great company. Um, and then for learning goals, um, I'm really interested in uh, learning enough Java to do some pretty cool projects. I think it would be a useful skill for my career and then just to be uh, build some very, very solid um, software. So I really got this idea from uh, a YouTube video from a Google talk from, I think his name is uh, John Ousterholt. Let me look at my readme. He has his name. Um, but essentially he has a class at Stanford. Um, yeah, uh, John Ousterholt called this uh, design studio class. And essentially in that class, a group of the students uh, work in pairs and then build some really cool projects. So one of the projects is actually to uh, build an implementation of the Raft Consensus Protocol, um, which is essentially like building a system for leader election. And in that class, they do it in C++, but essentially what they do is they build as much of the protocols they can. Uh, they include not only the protocol for leader election, but also the logging system that makes it possible. And uh, that's going to basically be my goal for the month of August to create a Java-based implementation of uh, of Raft. And I think it's going to be really cool because I'll have something substantial. I'll learn more about leader elections, and which is a like one component of uh, being able to scale a distributed system. Um, and that's going to get me excited about other things. Um, and other uh, aspects to improve my Java, I'm going to essentially uh, answer easy medium questions I've already answered in Python. Um, I really got uh, some uh, or listened to some great advice from Clement uh, Mihalescu. He has a YouTube channel, he's a tech YouTuber, and he had, I think he has some fantastic advice on how to like, quickly learn the syntax of a new language. So if you're very comfortable uh, with some like kind of elementary data structures and algorithms, and especially in a certain language, for me that was Python, uh, the language I've used a lot preparing for my coding interviews. Um, so for example, like if you can easily like, reverse a linked list or do a two number, to three number sum, um, in my example, Python, you can easily do it in Java. So, I, I mean, or you can learn how to do it easily in Java because you understand the underlying principles. So, uh, basically, what I've been doing is answering a couple of lead code and algo expert questions uh, utilizing um, uh, or answering easy questions. And then, as I'm like trying to create it in a new language where I'm not as familiar uh, with their syntax or libraries, in this case, Java, I search it as, as needed. So you don't like try to learn everything like from a reference book and try to like almost memorize a dictionary. You just use what is needed. So that's the intent for this Raft Consensus Protocol project. Um, basically, just copy that project from his uh, Stanford course and just do it in Java instead of C++. Because when you actually engage in project-based learning, you just learn what's necessary to build the system and uh, you actually build something tangible. So that's what I want to do. I want to build stuff I'm interested in that's going to help me learn and uh, uh, something that people can use. So uh, I've only done a couple things. So for me, um, I've just kind of uh, been learning about classes. I took this great course on Educative I.O., on object-oriented uh, design in Java. So I've been learning a lot about how to essentially use um, uh, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, um, and abstraction. So it's been uh, cool to learn about. So for this, I think I'm going to have to dive into uh, learning more about uh, networking and network protocols in order to make this possible. Probably a lot of timestamp libraries as well. And then also how to like set up um, local host servers um, in order to st uh, simulate uh, this leader election uh, uh, pro protocol. I'm sorry. So I think it's going to be a very fun project. I'm going to try to um, utilize all my free time to improving my Java and then getting this project done. So I'm really excited. I'll provide some uh, updates as it happens. And if I uh, get that job that I'm hoping to get, I'll let you guys know too. But I am excited for this next month, and I'm going to be keep, keep on grinding, keep on moving forward. So thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Um, maybe I'll include uh, some examples of me answering some lead code questions in Java for Monday and Wednesday. We'll see, and uh, you might actually see a video of me interviewing my buddy Victor. I think there's an issue with the sound, but I'll try to fix that so you can hear both of us. Anyways, hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, see you soon. Cheers.